I'd like to know a little bit more about how you started to get into the uh, uh, music industry marketing. This is pre-internet days, so this is when everything was still in print. Right. And you'd, you'd, you'd send cassette tapes, demo tapes, out to magazine writers and reviewers and newspapers and everything along those lines. And I also, at the same time, got the computer bug, um, where I really was getting hooked on Macintosh computers and uh, got me hooked on something called HTML, which was right. brand new at the time. You know, Nobody knew what this HTML was, and I started to build a website so I could learn how to program. So I built a KISS website. Which, ironically, at the time I launched it in 1995, it was the fifth website ever on the internet devoted wow. to KISS. That fan website exploded. It took off big time. Right place, right time. You know, the band did their reunion. And fast forward to 1998, got a call from Gene Simmons who said, um, basically, we want you to build our official website for us. Would you like to do that? Um, three months of some negotiations, and I'm leaving my job and moving from Chicago out to San Francisco, where I start a full-time job um, building, I built from scratch, launched, managed, did everything for Kiss's website. And in that time period, I was also doing stuff, uh, website stuff for um, Alan Jackson, Madonna, U2, Motley Crue, Ozzy Osbourne, um, Britney Spears, list just goes on. Um, and the main focus was building these websites to sell merchandise for these bands online. How has the marketing for the music industry changed with uh, social media and social networks? And uh, these whole new uh, opportunities to, uh, you know, spread content and uh, engage customers and fans. Um, I think it's amazing. I think anybody who has a, a has an issue with social media has a difficulty using it. Doesn't know the good thing that's sitting right in front of them. It was a lot of work pre social media to interact with fans and 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 to some extent you didn't actually want to interact directly with the fans especially if you were an artist of a major caliber because let's be honest some of those fans can be scary now with Facebook and Twitter you can talk straight to your fans instantly and basically have complete protection you know it it's up to you how much personal information you divulge and what you give them. What about the uh, the marketing aspects? You know, the, the the part where you have to sell something. Selling should not be your primary reason for being online. It should not be your primary reason for using Facebook, Twitter, a website. Selling will come after you've built that relationship with the fan. You just need to get online and talk that you know that's at, at, at the core that's all social media is is talking and listening and holding conversations but what do you think are the uh, similar aspects and different aspects between industries when it comes to social media use I've always kind of said that fans are customers and customers are fans um, but I think a lot of companies are afraid to get online because they're kind of afraid to hear what the customers might actually have to say. No, it's not always uh, bright and uh, everything is okay because it might happen to have uh, some really negative criticism online, and which is oh really, sure, which is really direct. So how how do artists have to manage that? Because you know it's it's. It's, not, it's tough, you know, it's, it's because it's personal at one point, you know. Well, I think the first thing is you've got to have a really thick skin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 I've learned that. I mean, you know, when, when I used to manage the message boards for Kiss and other bands, you know, I was the, the admin. I had fans hating me, hating me because I would have to keep order and break up fights and delete posts and ban people and... You know, but you quickly learn that you just have to get a thick skin. Can't take it personally, you know. 
everybody's got an opinion out there and no opinion is right and no opinion is wrong that's just an opinion i was wondering if you could actually give us some examples of good management of situations like the like these or uh, bad examples the bad example most common bad example is somebody just sees a post they don't like and they just delete it that is just bad just that is just the example of doing it the bad way i think it's the same in the United States as it is in Italy. I mean, there are so many VIPs who are uh, starting just now to use Twitter in a very massive way. I, I think I, that's the same everywhere. I mean, we, you know, you've got egos in, in play there, you know, right. big egos. And, and, you know, some of these, some of these uh, celebrities, um, you know, they may be new to this. They don't quite get it. Just to return to my previous question about the adult uh, entertainment industry, you know, it's it's both easier and, mo and uh, more difficult to uh, actually do marketing and social media, especially on that kind of content. So how do you integrate that? Social media is really a challenge. I mean, you know, Facebook as an example, you know, their terms of service, you can't post any even R-rated photos can get you in trouble. You can't post a link on Facebook that links to an adult website. Twitter, you can get away with it. Twitter has a very um, open terms of service policy. Um, it, 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 you know, social media is a little more of a challenge when it comes to the adult space. You just have to, you know, you almost look at it this way. It's like you can't, if you're going to use Facebook, you're not promoting you're not promoting the sex you're just kind of promoting the glamour you know it, it's a little more challenging um, you you know it, it becomes more of a customer relationship for the adult as opposed to selling the product because you can't sell the product you can't put a video clip up on Facebook you can't put a video clip up on YouTube um, so you're just developing a relationship with the customer to talk to them and you know that's what many of the adult stars do I mean they're 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 on Twitter all the time and they're they're a great example of somebody who gets how to use Twitter you know they're open about posting anything and everything in the course of their day they'll talk about everything and the fans love it and you know and they'll have hundreds of thousands of fans 